Hey parents, welcome to our preschool parent Devo time for this week. We are talking about our lesson from this past Sunday, which was November 15th. And this week we are learning about how we learn about God through other people who love God. Um, so we are in the book of Romans for this lesson. We're in Romans and it's chapter 12. It's a few verses in chapter 12. And this lesson is talking about um, basically how we should act and react to other people. Um, and that maybe when we react, it's more of a instantaneous action or instantaneous emotion instead of stopping and taking a minute before we react and um, making a choice about how we react. And um, so I just wanted to read a little bit, um, actually read these scriptures to you and let you know what this actually is about. Um, we started off in um, this lesson with it's hard to, or it's easy to be happy for someone who is nice to you, but it's hard to be happy for someone who is not nice to you. Um, if someone's mean to you, then you kind of want to be mean to them. And so we want to, we're trying to talk and explain that that's not the way we should act. We shouldn't try to get revenge on anyone, um, but we should love people. And so I want to read these scriptures to you just like I said, to help, um, help maybe you understand a little bit better so that when you're helping your kiddos um, walk through this Devo, you have an idea of what it is. And so, like I said, it's Romans uh, chapter 12, and these are verses 9 through 21. It says, Let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affect affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Never be conceited. Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, Vigilance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. To the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. But for by doing so, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not become overcome by evil, or do not be, be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. And so, like I said, this is a lot of, I want to take vengeance because someone's done something bad to me, or someone's hurt me, or someone's hurt someone I know, so I want to get back at them. And these scriptures are saying, that's not what we're called to do. As believers in Christ, as followers of Jesus, we are called to love people. And that's, we learn more about God that way. When, when others see us as followers of Jesus, when they see us being kind towards others and doing loving things, no matter what the situation is, that's going to speak volumes to them. They're going to see that something's different. And, um, that's what we want you to do. Talk about serving, talking about loving others, taking care of others. Um, even when somebody does something you don't like. Um, one of the examples is celebrating for someone who maybe got a new puppy. I used that in our intro in the video this week. That a friend of mine, she got a new puppy and the little puppy is so cute. And I'm excited for her. I know she likes dogs and, this, and her dog is just really cute. And so I want to celebrate with her. But what, ha what would happen if I had a new dog and somebody stole it from my yard? Then am I going to just automatically retaliate against that person? Yes, I want to find my dog. Yes, I want my dog back. But it's not in vengeance and it's not in retaliation that I go to look for my dog. Um, I want to be nice to someone and show them compassion um, I don't know why they took it off. Um, I'm just making it up. But it's kind of those things. Or what if, um, I'm trying to think of an example you could give your kids. What if um, your child sees a friend of theirs 
um, get a brand new bicycle. And it's the exact same kind of bicycle or same kind of Paw Patrol toy that your child wants. And instead of being mad that they got it, let's rejoice with them. Let's be happy for them. Um, if someone is mean, let's say, and I know this is really hard for kiddos, but let's say a friend at school is just really mean, then we're not supposed to be mean back to them. Maybe your child could write a note and just say, I thought the dress you had on yesterday was pretty. I hope you have a good day. You know, something simple, but it's just a bit of kindness towards that person. Um, because um, it says, I gotta find it right here. Oh goodness. Um, by doing so, and it's when it says, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For by doing so, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. So if we are constantly trying to do those good things and trying to be nice and kind to people, then that's going to overcome the bad stuff. And that's how we learn that, or we learn about God through other people that love God. So others, when they see us doing loving things like God, they learn more about God. Okay, so that's the gist of this lesson. Again, this is not a story lesson. This is very conceptual. Um, and so we brought in, you know, like the name of, or not the name, but the story of a puppy. Um, just trying to help the kiddos learn and understand that. But I wanted you guys to know more detail about what that is. Um, some of the questions that we have from this week are, should we really love each other? Yes, we should. Should we serve and help each other? Yes, we should. Should we share with others in need? Yes. Should we make friends with everyone, even the people that aren't nice to us? Yes, we should try. Um, and that goes um, to verse 18. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. So as believers, even if it's hard, as far as it depends on us, we've got to do our best to live peaceably with others. Um, constantly having that mindset of being positive and happy. Um, I know it's not always easy to be happy, but at least be positive and try to give people the benefit of the doubt. Um, and then one of the last questions is, who do we look like when we live like this? So when we live like these things and we're um, loving, serving, helping, sharing, and just being nice to people, we look like Jesus when we do that. So our activities, you can sing the song, of course. You can work on the memory verse. We still have two more Sundays with the song and this memory verse, so I encourage you to work on those things. Um, you can always send us a video, um, post it on our Facebook pages, the campus pages, or the preschool campus pages, or you can send it to our personal pages. You can even send it to our emails, and we would love to get those videos. And then what we do, it, with your permission, we will post them on Facebook. Um, but also, we have uh, memory verse prize boxes that we would love to send your kiddo a little prize for saying a memory verse. So, of course, there's always that. And then um, our last activity for this week is called serving dinner or snacks. And so what you wanna do is have your kiddos dress up. Let them dress up in some of yours, um, your fancy clothes, you know, adult fancy clothes. Um, if it's a little boy, have them, let them put on one of daddy's ties and maybe um, one of his jackets will be really big, but it'll be cute. Um, little girls, if you've got a dress or something fancy that your little girl likes, um, let her put that on. Of course, they could always dress up especially the girls in one of their princess dresses, something like that. Um, but dress up and then either at dinner or snack time, um, have your kiddos set the table, like make it really nice and fancy. Um, if you've got some nicer um, silverware or some plates that you can use, now that is completely up to you on that, on how nice you wanna get. If you wanna get out your china and try that, that's up to you. Um, but it's okay to use paper plates also. I know little ones, or with little ones, it's hard on some of those kind of things. But what you wanna do is help your child serve people. So you can either have everything set out at the table um, and then just have your child dish out things to people. Or um, if you wanna make it more like a restaurant, you could have your child, you help your child put things on the plate and then they can carry the plate to the person that they're serving. Um, you could have them go over and ask, you know, mommy, what would you like to drink? And, you know, if you say water, apple juice, whatever that may be, then someone else will help them get the water, apple juice, and they'll bring it to you. So the whole idea is that they're learning to serve others. 
And the more we practice this, then the more it will become normal. And so even those situations where it's not exactly friendly towards them, they're going to be friendly. It's just going to be natural for them to be friendly and to serve. And so um, when we do those things, when we're serving others, we're showing others this is what Jesus did. Jesus served everybody. And so that's um, the extra activity for this week. And I um, hope it's something that you guys can enjoy. Um, like I said, it can be a dinner or it can be a snack time. I would say do what's easiest for you. It's just a fun idea that um, we thought would be enjoyable for you guys and something a little different with the dressing up and stuff. So um, I'm going to take a minute and just say a prayer for us. And then I will let you guys get back to your Thursday afternoon. All right. God, we thank you so much that you love us. We thank you for these words from the Bible, God, where we learn that even in hard times that we can lean on you and um, we can trust you to know that when we're struggling and it's hard for us to be nice and be kind to others, God, just help us to remember these, these words. God, that it is not our place to try to get revenge on people. Um, but you will take care of what is needed in, that, in those situations and help us to remember that as far as it depends on us to always live peaceably with others, to do our best to treat others with kindness and respect and honor. And um, even when it's hard, God, we just ask that you help us to remember that and just kind of stop and take a minute. And instead of reacting to a situation that we stop and maybe even say a prayer, just say, God, help me to show your love in this situation. And so we just, we thank you that we can ask you those things. We thank you that you're here with us to help us with that. Thank you that you love us. It's in your name I pray. Amen. All right. You guys have a great week and we look forward to seeing you guys soon. All right. Bye-bye.